Very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Um, well, let's get right into it. Yeah. So uh, my, fir uh, my first question for you is, uh, working with a team of women, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Um, you have women writers, the showrunners are women, you know, the leads are all, well, most yeah. are women, you know? How, how does it feel, like, working as a, as a young female actor yeah. for you? How does it feel working in a team? like that. It's empowering. Mm -hmm. um, I have my own production company that mm -hmm. I opened up when I was 15 years old. Um, I actually named it Ultimate Dreamer because Ultimate Dreamer means audacious visionaries and that's what I consider myself to be. And that's also what I consider, you know, the rest of the women a part of Little Fires Everywhere to be as well, you know, so to be only 16 to be an actor and to also have my own production company to see these two strong females at the helm of the show that are also you know in charge of two very successful production companies that are also killing the acting game and then also just having you know all female executive producers and all female writers um it gives me hope in the future and it it when i look at it i kind of get a sense of wow we can really do anything when we come together, you know, when women come together and also diverse women, when every person that looks like somebody, a part of the cast, is telling their story authentically, you know, there's always, you know, a positive result. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's great. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about your character? So mm -hmm. you play um, Pearl, she's the daughter of Mia Warren, yeah. so uh, played by Kerry Washington. Mm -hmm. uh, do you have anything in common with your character and uh, maybe you can name something that makes you actually very different from mm -hmm. your character? Pearl is a creative. You know, she's a poet. She has, she's such an old soul and I think it's because she's always had to be because, you know, her mom has always, you know, they've been moving around, you know, since the beginning of, you know, her life. And she's always kind of served as the mother in that mother and daughter relationship. So she's always kind of had to fend for herself and, you know, be level-headed. Um, she's so much more than what Mia or Elena or any of the Richardsons, you know, beg her to be. She is, like I said, creative. She's smart. She is, um, she's so she's so intelligent and she knows what she's talking about and she knows what she's doing you know when she sees elena at first she's blinded by everything mm -hmm. but you know later on in the series she starts to see everybody for who she truly is while also being on this journey of trying to find herself and trying to see where she fits in and finding her own voice and i think it's a really beautiful moment you know when we get closer like episode seven and episode eight when she finally finds her voice mm -hmm. so uh, little fires everywhere. It feels like everyone has a secret. Like every character. <laughs> Everybody has. A so, secret. Are you personally, are, are you good with keeping secrets at all? Kind of, but then definitely not at the mm -hmm. same time. Mm -hmm. Like if it's like a job. Like if it's you know if I'm auditioning for something or if I book something, you know, then I'll be like, okay, I won't tell anybody. But it's always like super hard. But if it's also you know something that like my family tells me not to tell anybody mm -hmm. or like my best friend tells me not to tell anybody, then my lips are sealed. Uh, I want to ask you. Um, is it, am I right to assume that um, this series is also good for young adults as well, not just yeah. for adults, correct? Oh, absolutely. I mean, I think that, you know, any teen that watches the show can somehow, you know, relate to a character. Mm -hmm. You know, whether it's Moody, Izzy, Lexi, Trip, or Pearl. You know, I think that all the characters are kind of going on this journey of, you know, trying to find themselves in the midst of this chaos that the town is going through. And I think, you know, you can really take what's happening in the story and, you know, see what's happening now in 2020 mm -hmm. and um, take those experiences that those kids are going through and relate it to, you know, what's happening in 2020, you know, mm -hmm. with, um, you know, abortion you know, what's happening with Lexi, you know, that's a big thing that's happening now. Um, even just Jade Pettyjohn, who plays Lexi, we were talking about this, about, you know, just in a way her taking Pearl's essay and her, you know, kind of making it and, you know, creating it as if it's her own and just spinning it a little and putting her name on it, it kind of relates to cultural appropriation. Um, you know, just how, you know, people, they, they take our hairstyles and they mm -hmm. take, you mm -hmm. know, our culture and they kind of like change it just a little bit and they slap their name on it and they completely rebrand it as if it's their product. And so I think that, you know, there are just so many things that you can relate to in the story that are happening right now in 2020. Mm -hmm. Let's talk a little bit about you. So um, I know you started uh, actually 
uh, unlike other actors that start on screen and mm -hmm. then they, they dream about Broadway. Yeah. You started on Broadway. I did. <laughs> yes. And, and now you are on screen. Yeah. Um, you know, what is, what is uh, your dream project? What is that thing that you really want to get to, act, uh, acting-wise? Yeah, um, I would love to go back to Broadway someday. I have always been infatuated with musical theater. It's my first love, so I would love to like be in Hamilton or Once on This Island, mm -hmm. something cool like that. Um, but also just like acting-wise, you know, TV and film. Um, I would love to star in a action movie. I'm a huge Star Wars nerd, right. and I would just love to be a part of like the Star Wars franchise, or even just like the Marvel franchise. Like they're just so good, and I would be honored to be a part of either franchises or both. Who knows? Awesome. Yeah. And then just one last question mm -hmm. for you. I know you sing. I do. Um, can you name one song that's on repeat currently on your phone right now? You can sing it if you want. <laughs> At Your Best by Aaliyah is like my all time favorite. It's been my favorite ever since I can remember. Mm -hmm. I have a little cover on my Instagram. I'm not gonna sing it now, but I have a little cover on my Instagram if anybody mm -hmm. wants to check that out of me uh -huh. singing the song. We definitely will. Yeah. Uh -huh. Thank you very much. Awesome, thank, thank you. you.